Hi and welcome to some more music elements. Going back over some harmonies, as you can see about the, from the piano keyboard we have here. Um, what we talked about before with harmonies is basing this in C major, C major scale, about from C to D being a second, one, two, from C to E, third, C to F, fourth, you get the idea? C to G fifth, A sixth, and B seventh, and the C to C is the octave, or C to C to C would be two octaves. And the harmonies are by joining two or more notes together to form a harmony. Normally when you have three, um, depending how it's used, you often hear people calling it a chord or a triad, uh, meaning three notes played together to form a chord. Um, so, by adding a second above a note, you can hear how that sounds. It's not a great harmony. And a, a nice harmony is something that sounds nice, <laughs> sounds good to, the, to your ear. Um, that is still harmony. That is still harmony. Um, doesn't sound great, but it is harmony. So from C to D, second. C to E a third, C to F, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, and of course all C's form an eighth or an octave, oct meaning eight. Putting them together in a different inversion, so instead of C on the bottom we might put C on the top. And you can hear how that suddenly changes the sound. C on top. And you end up with almost an inverted interval, really, but um, just a different tone, a different sound. So if you've got your melody note as a C, the highest note, a melody note, and you wanted C still holding, you can hear the, the harmonies work underneath the high melody note that's singing throughout through the changes. Harmonies can be a, an interesting thing when you start, particularly when you sit at a keyboard because all the notes, everything's sitting there for you to just play. So you can very easily see a C and other notes joining in and playing at the same time to create the harmony or the tone. Um, of course we can add in the black keys, that will create a different different tone altogether. to hear other types of tones and um, sevenths, minor sevenths, ninths, different types of chords or harmonies coming in. So it's um, it's quite interesting. If you have a little keyboard, a small Yamaha Casio or something like that that's got you know 49 keys or whatever it may have, um, sit down and just hold one of the keys down and then just go through all the other notes while you're still holding like a bass note. playing some of the other keys so um, you can hear the different tones, the majors, the minors and all the other sorts of jazz chords. <laughs> you'll hear some interesting sounds. Some you'll love, some you'll hate because they will be that um, that will be that clashing sound um, that we call, you know, we don't really like in music because our ear doesn't um, hear the tone. Um, as a nice sound. So um, yeah, play around with some more harmonies. If you've got a you know, little keyboard, that's great. You can also download a keyboard app to your iPhone, iPad. Um, there's so many of them out there that are free. Uh, the Virtuoso Piano one is quite good. Um, I think it's a free app. 
it sets up a whole keyboard as a piano um, and it's a really nice piano sound so that might be um, an interesting app to try some of these harmonies on until next time <laughs>